Today we're going to be installing a fuel filter on an 01 Tacoma. The dealership was closed, so I actually picked this up from Pep Boys. It's a CarQuest filter. I liked staying with OEM, but this will do just fine. So the first thing I did is I marked the end a little bit better than what the company put on there. Now there's no out on this one, but we're going to use common sense. So, let's start. So on my truck, you got to pull out the EFI fuse, and that's, that's the uh, power to the fuel pump, and that's going to help uh, depressurize the system because when I unscrew it I don't want a whole bunch of fuel uh, spraying down on me and getting on the ground and everything come in here turn it on all right next thing we located the fuel filter there it is that's the in this is coming from up here where the fuel pump is going straight up and then out towards the engine up that way got a drip pan ready mine requires a 19 millimeter and a 14 millimeter just the 19 millimeter just to hold it and it's the bracket and the 14 to go ahead and break this uh this line free all right let me get this uh camera adjusted here all right and i got everything loosened up and I pulled the uh, both of the inlet and outlet out, and you can see I got a little bit of a drip, not bad. That's all spray. I had to spray some penetrating fluid to get this one off, but this one came off pretty good. So now I open this up. I go ahead and pull the old filter right out. All right. And we're going to go ahead and show you how to install the new one. Too many fuel-related issues, but I kind of wanted to see what the fuel looked like coming out of this filter and that looks pretty uh doesn't look bad I mean hopefully you can catch it on the camera there we go yeah all right so right here where I wrote in is gonna be where it's coming from the fuel pump and out towards the motor Just like that, we're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and put the uh, the relay, the fuel pump fuse back in, start it up, make sure we got no leaks, and we should be good to go. Then we're gonna go cut that filter open and see, uh, see how bad about 110,000 miles did on it. Okay, wow. I thought I was going to have a lot more stutter than that. I thought I was at, I was actually going to shut off one or two times, but uh, I guess not. We did a pretty good job. So one thing I like to do, uh, I like to go ahead and check the mileage. So I'm at 175,397. I'm going to write 
in white paint marker on that new one 175k that way whenever I do it or to think, even think about doing it again I can always come back and check and see how many miles are on it so we're gonna go ahead and step outside check for leaks all right and here we go we're just gonna go ahead and fill around here Check it real good for leaks and go ahead and tighten it if you have to. And here you see, I rode 175k on the new, uh, the new filter. So we're going to go ahead and cut the uh, the old filter open. I just got a cutting wheel and an angle grinder. But it's actually starting to uh, rain out here. So I'm going to pack this up, take it inside, cut it open. I'll show you what I get. Cut open. And I actually found a product uh, on here. It's a Pro Litter one. It's awesome. So I'm going to try to go ahead and get this element out of here. So I got the media out of here. It Pure Litter 1 did a pretty good job of uh, gluing it to the actual inside of the, uh, I don't know if you can see in there. Hopefully it comes out in the video. Let me see. But it's actually glued to the side of the canister itself. But I'm going to go ahead and unravel it and make sure that... And this is 110,000 miles. This is, this is not bad. I mean, I can see that it's, it's like a two-part media. So it's folded over on itself and then rolled. So you can see that I'm unrolling it here. So it's filtering through one side, two, three, and the fourth. So it's, it's actually, uh, I'm not quite sure. I know one of the guys on there is going to find to what micron this will filter to but and there's quite a bit of media here like not bad for all those guys sticking to OEM I might just go with Pearl later not bad good job Pearl later one